You want a guide on using the PPSH and how to let loose? Well, here it is. There's more guides and tip videos to come with the SVT40 coming up next. So subscribe to the channel to get notified. Now, as the PPSH is an SMG, we're starting at 50 meters and it's two shots to kill at 50 meters. For a headshot, yep, just aim at your target's head. And for a moving and sprinting target, um, I was testing this with like single taps or the first one was a double tap and you can see by the still images where to sort of roughly aim against a moving target. Now on to 100 meters, at exactly 100 meters the bullets to kill goes up to 3. And for a headshot, yeah, just aim at the tip of your target's head. While testing against running and sprinting targets, it really felt like the bullet speed or velocity was really inconsistent. So where I'm freeze framing the images is where 100% I got a hit on a moving target. But really, as you can see from what I just did with the first clip for sprinting at 100 meters, you don't want a single tap moving targets. You do want to spray a little. Now 150 meters is still three shots to kill. And for a headshot, you need to aim about an extra head above your target's head, if that makes sense. And again, for running and sprinting targets, you do ideally want to at least burst fire these guys because to me at least, the bullet velocity just seems so inconsistent and strange. Now we're going to do a recoil test where we put the two variants against each other to see which one has like the best recoil. So you can see both recoil paths go up and to the right slightly, so to counteract it, you do just need to move your mouse down on your mouse mat and slightly to the left. Now I'm going to freeze frame the recoil after the smaller PPSH has shot its last bullet so we can compare you know, which weapon actually has the better recoil. And you can see it's actually the one with the stick magazine. Which kind of is interesting because back on Dev Briefing 122, I think it was, when they announced the PPSH, they actually said that the PPSH with the drum magazine is going to have less recoil. But it turns out it's the opposite and it actually has more recoil. And through the footage, you can see that the one with the stick magazine does have a quicker ADS time, like they've said in the dev briefing as well. So I'm wondering if either the drum magazine PPSH is bugged a little, or they actually changed their mind on this design choice. So while I was testing using some single fire with a PPSH, in reality, you don't want to do this. You know, you want to be burst firing, at least trying to hit those targets, or when you're going down trenches, full auto. Just spray down that trench because PPSH is damn good at suppressing and at long range it is a bit difficult to use but because of the recoil on the weapon you can sometimes just get those lucky random headshots but with the drum mag because you have all that extra ammunition in the magazine you can suppress targets so effectively so remember that if you're playing with a squad and you're working closely together Use your PPSH, suppress those guys you're going to move up on, and yeah, you'll be like a little hero just keeping them suppressed. They may not feel like it because you're not killing anyone, but remember, suppression is really effective. So that's it for this guide on using the PPSH. I hope you found it useful. There will be more guides out in the future with the SVT40 coming up next. So please give this video a like, subscribe for more, and thank you for watching.